Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this one is going to be showcasing some of One Hive Alpha, a clan that is rebuilt to a large extent and looking to get in on the war scene, um, at least much more than they were before. Of course, they've always been a war clan and the kind of feeder to One Hive Genesis, but now they are growing legs and even wings of their own and looking to uh, to get some good competitive wars and some possibly even enter into some leagues and stuff. So we're gonna take a look at some of these uh, nice attacks by One Hive Alpha, give them the due respect, and also I wanna give you guys uh, just the, the, the awareness that they are um, another option if you're uh, thinking of applying to the One Hive uh, Genesis Alpha family, that One Hive Alpha is definitely a good option if you uh, want to kind of be part of a core group of members, just kind of help get the clan going. I mean, it you know it's a long-standing clan, but if you want to be one of the the original people that was there when they first started getting into some very competitive war. Uh, type action. They're looking to do some leagues. Right now they're just doing a few friendly wars to test things out, but there was a merge with another clan, so a lot of new members there, and uh, there's much more flexibility and mobility to move up to get in these wars than there is in One Hive Genesis because the spots are so competitive in Genesis, but in Alpha um, there's a lot of opportunity, especially for Town Hall 10s, to get in there and get going right away and uh, really rise to the top much quicker uh, than in pretty much any other clan I can think of, regardless of the family. Um, it's a, a, new, a new clan in the sense that it's just starting to, uh, to do friendly wars and that kind of stuff. Um, no longer just a feeder clan. So in that respect, um, unlike pretty much any other top war clan you'd apply to, uh, it's, it, it has that ability to, uh, for the flexibility to move up quickly and it also has the infrastructure of a clan that um, has been around for a while, a clan family that has the infrastructure, has the resources, the leadership. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. So it's a good time to jump on the chance to apply to One Hive Alpha. Of course, you can apply to Genesis, Trinity, and now Origins, our fourth clan, One Hive Origins. By the way, this was a nice queen walk um, by Monkey D. Rufy. Um, I thought that was really cool the way his queen just walked all the way up towards the Inferno Tower. Maybe a little bit late on the rest of the stuff because the queen died, but not a big deal. Um, the Valk dive gets the Town Hall. Great value from that attack. But yeah, we have four clans that we're currently running now. Um, let's see, move on to number five here. Gonna show a dip. You know, uh, I like to when I can show these dips because they're necessary. They're something that um, you gotta do. They're um, kind of like a Town Hall 9 attack in a way, um, except your success rate is a little bit higher than Town Hall 9. Town Hall 9, if you're a good Town Hall 9 clan, you hit about 70%, even, even between 60 and 70 is still pretty good. Um, whereas Town Hall 11, you want to be hitting over like 80% on these dips um, to, uh, to really be getting getting it good there. Um, even 90% um, some clans hit. So uh, anyway, though, we have the four clans. We have Genesis, which is now, um, of course, still open to applications, but it's very competitive. Um, it's, it's, you know, we're one of the top clans in the Premier League right now, and we have people that are just fighting for spots uh, on the roster and in the clan. So um, we have we have that clan. We have One Hive Alpha that is the second clan and just stepping into these competitive wars. Like I said, has the flexibility. Then we have One Hive uh, Trinity, which is having Town Hall 9s. Um, I don't I don't think they have many Town Hall 8s anymore even. Um, basically becoming what One Hive Alpha once was to an extent and um, not doing the competitive wars quite as much, but still trying to be a, a solid war clan. One Hive Origins a little bit more laid back. It's probably going to house most of our Town Hall 8s because we like to keep Town Hall 8s in the family. Um, you know, allow good players who are just a little bit lower level to uh, to, to work on their, their bases, get things upgraded, and to, you know, work out the fundamentals of the game, all that good stuff. So we still have a home for <clears throat> Town Hall 8s, but that's kind of moved to One Hive Origins now. So four clans. 
This one about one hive alpha and a nice attack by Lux. I love the hogs at Town Hall 11 with that extra heal spell. Um, can get some incredible value, but it's not the heal spell. That Warden's ability on the kill squad is just such money. Having that Warden's ability in those level 3 bowlers under it, as well as the, the level 45 king and queen, um, get some tremendous value with that kill squad. I think that's the biggest difference, but you have the higher level hogs and the extra spell, which helps as well. Let's move on to some Town Hall 9 hits here. Uh, no 10v10s to show in this one because... Um, well, just didn't have any, uh, one of the harder things to get. But beyond that, uh, one hive alpha looking for some town hall tens, especially, um, because we have, we have a very solid group of town hall tens in one hive Genesis, but one hive alpha, um, a little bit short on tens for numbers. So if you are a town hall 10 thinking about joining one hive alpha is a great place to consider because you have the ability to, uh, to get on the roster much quicker, um, than you would in probably most other clan families. So this attack here by Noah, I liked how he um, dropped that one loon just to try to see if the CC had anything that could hurt his La Loon. It didn't. And I think he intentionally didn't pop the king's ability because if the king goes through that wall right there, he's going to lure out the CC and it's just going to open a whole can of worms that not necessary if it's Lava Hound or no matter what it is, it, it has a chance of interfering with his troops if they get locked onto it. So goes ahead and ignores that, starts the La Loon, and just coming at these remaining air defenses. Nice central spot that tanks the queen. Uh, that's important because it's basically going to make it so she can't defend herself against these skellies and those pups that lock onto her. Has the rage as well. Rage might not have even been needed because it doesn't do a whole lot for the loons, and I think the skellies had her even without it, but just to be safe, uh, it's always a good idea to rage over the, the loons and the skellies that are going to kill the queen. Um, I think he also had a poison there as well. So good stuff. Loon still moving through. Really haven't been touched to this point. The Lava Hound usage was great. Got exactly what he needed. So pretty much no loons took damage uh, from air defenses. Then the last heal and haste. Um, almost swag, to be honest. Um, great stuff. Some loons for cleanup. Nice one here to Noah. Uh, fast forward to the end. We'll take a look at one more attack here. Not going to be a super long video. And, uh, you know, sorry for the lack of uploads lately, of course. Um... Even from what I was expecting after all the move-in changes, I thought I'd do more, but um, just been busy. Um, caught a little bit off guard, but I'm going to have a lot of videos recorded this weekend, so I have plenty for the uh, for the week as we move on to this last attack here. Um, I'm basically going to try to get as many as I can uh, quality videos uh, recorded and um, the ones that really can be recorded or uploaded at any time that aren't specific to like a certain war or something I can um, <clears throat> go ahead and delay a little bit and you guys can see those a few days later so uh, this weekend we have the CWL Premier All-Stars War which is going to be very fun I was uh, honored to be selected I mean it's not it was just by stats really so I was one of the uh, top 10 v 11 attackers, uh, statistically speaking. Um, I think I, I, I think I was like six for eight or something uh, on my Bisectatron account, uh, and it goes by accounts, of course. So a lot of people have like multiple accounts, but um, you're stuck to the one account that your name's tied to. So uh, I wasn't like slighted by people that had like 20 accounts um, and got more total. Uh, two stars and 11s or whatever. So just on the one account, um, all things kind of equalized that way. I was able to make it, uh, I think, six, yeah, six for eight, I think was my uh, statistic up to this point. So yeah, I'm in the CWO Premier All-Stars War. I'm not going to stream it because I'm still kind of setting up the stream stuff um, between my two locations right now. It's a little bit too difficult to do so. Um, but I think I'm going to go back and do one of those uh, videos I haven't done in a while, which is the live on war day uh, type thing where I just record some live attacks, splice them all together, let you guys get a nice flavor of the war through my eyes as I watch attacks live because I should be able to hang out um, while I'm doing homework or whatever and and just catch live attacks and um, and commentate through them as we go. So that should be fun. I'm going to do quite a few videos on the all-Stars War because it's the best attackers, not just from Premier, but also from Invite. We have the top 50 from Premier going against the top 50 from Invite. We'll see uh, which league has the better attackers. Not that it's a very good measurement, uh, but we'll, we'll see who wins. It should be a very fun event, and I think a lot of people are looking forward to it. Best attackers from the uh, 
the top two leagues of CWL. Best of the best, I think, is what it's going to be. So, uh, yeah, I'll... I'll be excited to see how this one turns out, and you guys will see a lot of coverage from me and probably some other YouTubers as well. But that would do it for this video. Once again, One Hive Alpha, going back to the initial purpose of this uh, video, check them out if you are interested, because they are possibly a uh, one of those sleeper clans that has a big upside and a lot of uh, a lot of potential to grow and for new players to really get into that core group a lot faster than they would in a regular clan. So thank you for watching, and I will see you guys very soon in the next video. Bisectatron out.